and welcome back. My name is Upkeith, aka Upgood, and like I said before, we're, I'm going to go through this Blender 3D Noob to Pro wiki book, which was based on 2.75, Blender 2.75 at the time. I'm going to try to translate it to 2.8, and then I'm going to try to go through the, the tutorials, and I'm going to read this to you. So, so uh, um, if you're interested, uh, maybe it'll help. Obviously, I'm not making tutorials for people to learn stuff on, but you might learn something as you go on this, as we go on this journey together. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> so, what do we got here? We got about this book, Overview, You Can Help. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to increase the the size just so it's a little easier to read for me and for seeing it on screen and so um, Noob to Pro is a feature book on Wikibooks because it ta contains substantial content is well formatted and Wikibooks community has decided to feature it on the main page or in other places please continue to prove it and thanks for the great work so far you can edit this advertisement template the book is also available as PDF version I don't actually know how long um, they, you know, they've been working on it, and uh, is anybody still working on it? Maybe not, because 2.75 is quite a bit of time ago. So um, who knows? Maybe I could, I could join and I could edit the the book for, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know that much, but um, if if I know the differences between, you know. 2.5 and 2.8 maybe I can help uh, update this to the to a modern um, deal anyways um, what do we got about this book overview you can help how to edit a module how to add a module images how to join the team table of contents unit one background unit two basic modeling and shading unit three providing horizons unit four taking off with advanced tutorials 4.5 appendices 4.5.1 reference material, 4.5.2 advice, 4.5.3 miscellaneous tutorials, if there are any there, 4.6 additional resources about this book. Uh, Blender 3D Noob to Pro is a product of shared effort by numerous team members and anonymous editors. It's a pur its purpose is to teach people how to create three-dimensional computer graphics using Blender and free software application. The book is intended to be used in conjunction with other online resources that complement it. Other Blender-related wiki books on topics such as scripting and creating games, the Blender Wiki for technical document documentation, a user forum such as the Blender Artist Forum. While you can learn simply by reading the book, you'll get more other tutorials if you follow along. In order to do this, you need to access a computer with Blender installed. You can download Blender from the Blender Foundation website. More detailed instructions are in the first module. Um, so here's here's the downloads, or you can go and actually try 2.8 beta, which they're saying might be out next month, since it's just turned June. Might be might be um, might be released um, in July. Originally, I heard it was like October or something, but um, it looks like um, it looks like they've locked in like the UI and stuff. So so it's about ready to be released, unleashed. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to go to the Blender Wiki for real quick. Um, developer documentation. So this is about developer stuff, huh? Currently in migration phase from the previous installation. Python. Learn about scripting and add-ons. New developer introduction. I guess this is a, a, about people um, working on Blender. New developer overview. This has nothing to do with us. has nothing to do with me. Not that it would be interesting to work on it, but uh, I don't have the time, um, especially if I'm going to work on my game. So, okay, so um, let's check out the Blender Artist Forum real quick. I'm not going to just do straight reading. I'm gonna we're gonna open some links and you know do some stuff. What? Not there. Actually, what is that? Oh, the for that's their forum. Um, BlenderArtist.org is there. Forum is probably under a different dealing because it's how late it is. And it looks like Tarzan from the Disney 
cartoon, which is pretty good because it looks like the actual cartoon. So whoever did that did a good job. Um, let's see. What do we got? Forum gallery. I guess this is some of the stuff that can be done with Blender because this is Blender and everybody uses Blender. Hmm, train. This is something I'm interested in because in my game there are flying trains. Of course, they're um, they're not uh, like you know modern concepts. This is like a. I don't think this is a real train. I think this is a. Um, what does it say? Bolt for bolt replica of PRRT one recreated in Bath. So maybe it is an actual train. I don't know. But uh, it's whatever it is 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 modern, um, animated friendly, hundred percent accurate. This is pretty cool, um, but I digress. What else can we do in here? It's cool, kind of interior isometric view thingy. That looks pretty realistic, except for I I I guess the perspective. I don't know. Maybe it's a, a real perspective, though. Maybe it's not an actual like, like isometric, or actually everything's like equal, you know, inside a like a thirty degree angle, and it's you know, it's not real like three D. Maybe this is an actual real perspective, um, you know, just in Blender, just uh, done at a section. Anyways, that's pretty cool. So this is more stuff you can do in here. Broke a vase. Looks. It looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? Blender can do quite a bit. What else we got here? Mm -hmm. Cool stuff. That looks like a bird kingfisher that caught something in its beak. It's pretty dang realistic on this stuff. This is cool, and I don't know why it went back to this like this, but whatever. Uh, someone look at the tiger. I like this one. This might actually have to be a, like a desktop background. Hmm. It is small though. Is there a big one version of this? How big is this? 1920 by 1080? Sure. Set. Oh, that's right. In Brave, I can't, uh, I can't set it as desktop. I have to actually save it. Save image as. Uh, let's call this Tiger. Uh, blender tiger and let's see if we can make it into my desktop background I know I'm just kind of fooling around here sort of not a hundred percent fooling around but kind of sort of okay it's in documents was it actually in pictures that wasn't in pictures it was actually in something like documents or something I don't even know where it saved it. Downloads? Probably in downloads. Yep. Uh, set as desktop background. Awesome. So he's going to be my desktop background for a while. And there we go. Thank you, Blender Artist, whoever you are. Actually, not what we want to do. We want the browser, hopefully. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. So, anyways, hmm, interesting. <laughs> Eyes, hmm, a little too detailed. Okay, this is Captain Marvel. I don't care for Captain Marvel. 
And there's this guy, this cat here. So it looks like you can do quite a few things, quite a cool few cool things. Tony Stark, aka Robert Downey Jr. That's uh, pretty good. Okay, so I should go back to the book, um, even though we only have like two minutes left here. But um, so we we got an idea. Um, it's talking about the forums because you can actually get help on the forums. So uh, what well, you can learn by simply okay, Blender Foundation, which is just going to be what Blender or dot org, you know Blender's main page here. Where you you um, yeah animation rigging story drawing okay let's see uh, version compatibility under continued development some of the following tutorials are written for older version not yet been updated to current version and it hasn't been updated for quite a quite a while major changes in the user interface and scripting API took place beginning with the 2.5 X series. If you find outdated content, feel free to edit as required to bring it up to date. And it's way out to date, way you know, out of date now. Um, 2.5 X series, 2.79, which is the latest version, uh, is quite a bit different in the interface department. So, overview: the core of this book is a, si is a series of tutorials that increase in complexity, with later tutorials building on the preceding ones. While experienced users can skip ahead, beginners are urged to proceed through the tutorials in sequence. Tutorials in the core series are grouped into four units, background, basic orientation regarding computer graphics, Blender user interface, basic modeling and shading, basic techniques for building and rendering 3D models, broadening horizons, alternative modeling and rendering techniques, introductions to lighting, animation, and game creation, taking off, scripting, advanced techniques for modeling, animation, and game creation. And the game creation is kind of nixed because um, Blender game engine is not going to be in Blender uh, starting with 2.8 anymore and I don't know if they're gonna re-add in a new deal that's why I was using Armory which is uh, a game engine um, that's uh, that's an add-on to Blender so that you can just make games directly in Blender yeah. um, but it runs on the the hex hex hexy hex language um, and the um, the library KHA and uh, you can actually do some scripting with with hex. Anyways, um, so who knows? Maybe we can actually um, look at the Blender game stuff and then go into Armory and see if we can't uh, do some conversion on that too. If there's talking about Blender game engine in here, each unit is divided into sections which are made up of modules. The appendices are also provided reference material, including frequently asked questions, glossary, general advice, tips to get you. The most out of Blender miscellaneous tutorials. Uh, miscellaneous tutorials, tutorials that aren't part of the core series. Uh, you can help uh, strongly encourage to contribute to this book. Actually, let's go ahead and stop right here and we'll pick up in the next video with this. So uh, I'll see you then.